and this is Skag 8 and 8, and today we are at Texas Lutheran University! Skag Nation joining us as we uh, continue our Skag 8 and 8 tour. It is the athletic director of Texas Lutheran University, uh, Bill Miller. Uh, Bill, thank you for taking some time with us. And uh, you know, first of all, just tell us kind of the uh, kind of your state of the address for Texas Lutheran athletics. Well, at Texas Lutheran, athletics plays a critical role in our in the mission of our university. Um, you know, we have over 400 student athletes here, and that makes up. Uh, depending on the year, at least one-third of our total enrollment. So uh, the, the student-athlete experience is, is critical here. And uh, Texas Lutheran has always, in my opinion, uh, had a sort of a Division three philosophy, even though we were scholarshiped for a long time. And the reason I'm saying that is because academics has always been critically important here, and involvement across campus by our student-athletes has always been critically important. And uh, that, it continues to this day. Our student athletes are very involved across campus. Uh, they're good students. They blend in well with the other groups. I mean, uh, you know, it, it's just, it's, it's a good environment here and one that I'm proud to be part of. Now, for as far as SCAC, or at least SCAC schools alumni, we've had, you know, Olympic gold medalists. We've had uh, players who have played in the Super Bowl and the NBA Finals and the World Series. We've had a lot of great alumni come through. But one of, I think, the best ones out there is a man who covers SEC college football every Saturday on CBS. And his name is Vern Lundquist. And he's about as good as it gets, folks. And he is an alumni of uh, Texas Lutheran University. I mean, tell me a little bit about Vern. Well, if you ever watch uh, much SC, SEC football, if Vern has the opportunity to, to say something about Texas Lutheran, he's going to. He does. And he's been doing this for years. Uh, he is a really great person, and he's on our board, and um, he has done so many things for Texas Lutheran. He's a, just a good reflection of the university, too. He's just he's a really good person. and. Um, but, you know, he's been involved. We do a major athletic fundraiser every year, and we've been doing it now. I think this is going to be our 11th year, and Vern is the pivotal piece in that. He, you know, we get celebrities. Celebrities, of course, most – we haven't had a problem with getting celebrities because they all want to be interviewed by Vern. Any chance, you know, he's going to bring the SEC crew over here and try to call the game for you guys? Is it in the Probably words, not, but i tell you what he does do. As part of our, we auction off every year. I don't know if you've heard this, but every year, part of our front row fundraiser, that's our athletic fundraiser, he agrees to, uh, for the winning person, whoever wins this trip, he takes them to an SCC game Ooh. and uh, or they meet him there, and uh, he, they go behind the scenes with him, all you know, before preparing for the game, and then he, they get up in the booth with him during the game. I think it's just an amazing experience. Everybody that's done it has said it's just fantastic. And so basically, you you spend a day in the life of Vern Lundquist. That's amazing. And yeah, it, you would just go nuts because it, it is just everybody. I mean, I had a couple of teammates that played on those those national championship teams that. That got to do it, and they just had a great time. Vern, if you want an aspiring young broadcaster to join you in that broadcast booth, I'd be more than happy to join you and live a life in your, <laughs> uh, uh, live the life of Vern Lundquist. Uh, Bill, we'll get you out on this. You know, we're very, we're, we're so pleased to have you in the SCAC. We're so happy to have you as well as Shriner joining us. Uh, you know, you've meant, you touched a little bit on the football stadium being built and, and some of the other uh, projects uh, this athletic program's going through. Just, Give me the excitement level around campus of, of joining the new conference and all the other projects coming up. Oh, I think it's, it's going to be really hard to describe that feeling, you know, you know in front of, a, front of a camera or on a microphone because you get, it's a feeling that I think everybody's aware of on campus. Our, our sports teams 
are doing well. You know, we can always do better, but we're I think we're competitive and um, you know, with the in division three it's all about, you know, in my opinion, coaching's overrated. Okay, I think you have to have good coaches, but it's about getting quality student athletes. It's about players, and and to get those, you've got to have facilities. And in Division Three, that that's critical because you're you know you're not offering scholarships and all that stuff or athletic related scholarships, but so cr- uh, facilities are critical. And and our president, Dr. Dorsey, he understands that. And our our. Um, you know, our president's cabinet and our, our board of regents, they all get that. And so we're finally moving forward with some things that I think will really help our recruiting. Our, our, and I think will benefit just the perception will benefit our whole athletic department and our whole university because, you know, even let's say, you know, we're not building a new gym right now, but, you know, we have basketball players come up and they see some of these other things happening and they think, oh, boy, they really are – dedicated to make to building a, a quality athletic program and so i think that's important in the recruiting message and um you know and our faculty are in on this too they they're excited i think they're really excited to be able to go to a football game on campus that hadn't happened in 75 years and so it's going to be a great environment here because all i have to do is walk across the street to go to the game and then right across that they can go at a tailgate party over there at jackson park so um it, it's we're really excited about what these new facilities are going to do for, to the environment here on campus. I mean, it'll be a you know Saturday afternoons. It'll be a real college football environment. He's Bill Miller. He's the director of athletics at Texas Lutheran. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, James. Uncle Vern. I'll give you my contact information. Contact me. But other than that, we got more coming up here in SCAC Eight and Eight. Well, this is Cac Eight and Eight, uh, and we have uh, we've met a little friend here. This is Louie, the uh, the mascot of Texas Lutheran University, and uh, we're here with his owner. And uh, tell us a little bit about Louie, how he's been involved with Texas Lutheran. Well, he's four years old, just turned four. He has been coming out here since I picked him up as a pup, and uh, he goes to almost every of the uh, functions, whether they're athletic, academic, and uh, he's he's been a really good guy out here. Well, Louie just did a couple engagement pictures, so clearly the student body seems to be a huge, huge fan of Louie. Just tell us how the student body, uh, how they how they accept and, and love Louie around here. Well, they're, they're always inviting him over when he can. Uh, oops, gosh, Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, come here, Louie. Here, Louie. But um, he comes out for anything from Greek week to uh, any of the pictures, homecoming. And usually dresses for the park. He wears a cap and gown for homecoming. And uh, so he's he, he's worn suits. He wears t-shirts according to if it's a soccer game, mm-hmm. volleyball, whatever. So he just uh, he tries to be involved as much as he can for the students and his staff here. Well, not every school has a live mascot, but Tex Lutheran is one of them. It is Louie the Bulldog, and uh, we're glad he's joining us today. Thank you. Oh, like he's such a good boy. That's good. Skag A Nate, we got a special guest with us. Just tell the crowd who you are and uh, what uh, what year you graduated from Texas Lutheran. Uh, my name is Buzzy Keller. I coach. I'm a volunteer coach. Coach the punters and the kickers. And uh, I graduated uh, from Texas Lutheran in 1955. Now you help out the punters and the kickers. We're about uh, about. 55 minutes away from kickoffs. What have you seen from your team this week? That's uh, that's going to be that's going to be success for the Bulldogs. Well, I think we've had the best week of practice as a team, and I know all the uh, punters and kickers have uh, really ele- elevated their performance. Now, if I'm not mistaken, you used to be the athletic director at Texas Lutheran before Bill. I was. Now, this was way back 100 years ago, but I was the head baseball coach. I coached the secondary and receivers, football. I was a head trainer in all sports, men's and women's. Uh, I taught a full load, 12 hours a week, and uh, I was the uh, intramural director and assistant dean of men. And I was making $4,500 a year. 
but you got it done. Did a little bit of everything. Now, I don't know if you can see very well at home, but uh, uh, you got a little Texas Rangers ring on on your hand. So, uh, what? What? And you're gonna you're gonna show it to us. This is a Texas Rangers American League Championship ring from what year? Are we looking at 2011. So, tell us what you uh, what your involvement is with the Texas Rangers. I, I am a scout with the Rangers, and right now I have colleges, junior colleges, and high schools in this immediate area. I go from Corpus Christi to Waco and east and west off of 35, and uh, kind of make my own schedule, and uh, I think they let us old people kind of do it the way we have always done it. Any uh, any particular Rangers that you bought, brought to Texas that you're proud of? No, I haven't been with the Rangers but six years and that's a little premature for uh, getting someone to the big leagues. But they're coming. Oh yeah, they're going to be there. We have a good minor league system. Well, Coach Keller, we appreciate you joining us. We're going to let you get ready for this game coming up here in about 55 minutes. This is SCAC 8-8, eight eight, Texas Lutheran Austin College is coming up. We had tailgating, pre-gaming, and plenty more activities as the Texas Lutheran Bulldogs uh, prepared to take on the Austin College Roos. Technically, their home opener, a win for the Bulldogs, uh, would give them their first SCAC championship. The Roos coming out onto the field before kickoff. And then the homestanding Texas Lutheran Bulldogs prepared to take the field and looking to win that elusive conference championship. Here come the Bulldogs. Kickoff was just moments away. The Texas Lutheran Bulldogs were hungry for the first championship on this hot, muggy day in Texas. Here is the opening kickoff. Texas Lutheran would go on to defeat Austin College 45 to 12 and claim their first ever SCAC football championship. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm James Hill, the assistant commissioner at the SCAC. Thank you so much uh, for coming out here. We have been so, so happy to welcome Texas Lutheran to our conference family. Uh, you guys have been nothing but, but awesome as, as fans, as students, as athletes, and we are so happy and so blessed to have you guys uh, on board with us. And uh, I guess without further ado, I present the first SCAC championship to the Texas Lutheran Bulldogs, the 2013 SCAC champions! Yeah. 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 T-shirt here. 